from the bottle it smelled sweet like what is going on welcome back to my channel if you're new please subscribe hit that notification bell so you know each time i put out a video i'm so excited today i'm unboxing some fragrances i will be unboxing some maison lancome fragrances okay um this is like a private collection that they have going on i am not going to go into too much detail about these fragrances but i have been dying to smell them i have some wonderful subscribers that suggest a lot of things to me okay and they're all great suggestions and i'm working through them and some of the suggestions that i got um, through my instagram you know private messaging were these fragrances so i went and i looked for some and i bought a bunch the first one is roses Barbaranza eau de parfum and these fragrances that I'm gonna mention in this video are sort of hard to find at the moment. So I kind of had to buy different ones from different websites. Wherever I could find them, I just bought them. And I didn't buy any specific ones from the collection. I just, whatever I found, I bought. This is Roses Beberanza. It comes in this plastic sleeve, you know, standard. Let's open it. I like watching videos where they remove the plastic and all that, but I know that some people may not like that, so sorry. <gasps> okay, that's it there. Oh, look at that bottle. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, MG. What is this? Okay, let's talk about the packaging. That's the bottle, that's the juice, and magnetic cap, gold cap, and, oh, so nice. And that's it there. We are just figuring this out together. So, here it says roses, barbaranza, Assemblance Rose Damascan Absolute Rose Damascan Essence Signature Epices and Pistache. This smells sweet, a little bit spicy. I have I don't know what notes are in here. Okay, I really don't know, but I love this. Let me spray it. Goodness, am I gonna have enough room on my arm for these perfumes? Okay. It kind of smells weird in the beginning. It smells like something and I'm trying to figure out what it is that it reminds me of like tire, like a burnt tire or something. And then, do you know that smell when someone's been screeching on the road with their tires, that burnt smell of tires? Oh, and then it just smells really bad. <laughs> But it keeps changing it's like from the bottle it smelled sweet like what is going on okay it's definitely unique so it's changing it keeps changing it's kind of smelling a bit like a mandarin i will you know obviously wear it more and do an in-depth review of this fragrance i think i have to wait a while for it to settle down and figure out what it becomes what it blossoms to okay whether it's a yay or nay so we'll see our next fragrance is oranges bagarati's auto perfume i can't with these pronunciations okay i just i just can't i will link the names in the description box okay so standard packaging with the plastic let's get this off every time i'm in a different section of the house and let's say somebody else or even when i'm out and about and someone 
opens a plastic like this and I hear this sound, I automatically think, oh, candy. <laughs> Okay, so that's the box. All right, so let's open this one as well. 100 mils. Ooh. So here we are. This is Orange's Bigarati's. Is that right no it's not it's obviously not right okay <laughs> but <laughs> we don't know the correct pronunciation okay so here we go another um, magnetic closure and this one's white the last one had a gold closure cap we have that gold plating with writing on there turn it to the side and we have that leaf thing going on the back is clear you can see the color of the juice and the side has nothing it just says um, Maison Lancome at the bottom same size 100 mils different color caps that's the side pattern the juices are different colors okay let's smell the oranges bigarades I can't decide what I'm smelling right now. <laughs> it's it's fruity, obviously. It's probably the orange. Okay. Hopefully I like it. Oranges, citrus. It's changing. It's reminding me of that Alexandra J perfume that I, I included in, what's that video? Uh, the unboxing, the last unboxing I did. Just very tea, like herbal and citrusy. It's changing as well. Interesting. We'll have to come back, but that's what I'm getting at the moment. I need to wear them, okay? And decide how I feel. They need time to settle down. They keep changing into something else. I don't know how I'm feeling right now about these perfumes. I'm not overly excited about them. I love the bottles. They're all right. Oh, the first one's, oh. The dry down is amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's give this one a chance, okay? We'll wait till it settles and I'll wear them more, obviously. Let's move on to the next perfume. Next one is Iris Drage and it's an Eau de Parfum 100ml, okay? And same, same packaging. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what color lid this would be. Can anybody guess? <laughs> the first one was gold, the second one was white. Who knows what this one will be? Whoever guessed white did good. So, isn't like Drage a like a coating, a sweet coating for like candy or icing on cake or something anyway i think that's what they were trying to go for here with this name so white cap magnetic and same plating gold plating with the leaves and clear you can see the color of the juice right there let's smell this okay okay i can't smell anything just yet Let's use the other wrist. I hope this is good. Oh, okay. I like. 
let it settle. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. I might wear this today. Cause I'm not wearing a scent of the day because I mean, straight out of the shower, you wear something like you spray something on that will last you about an hour and a half just to get you through, you know, getting ready. Cause you gotta smell nice while you're getting ready. And then it just kind of fades after some time and I didn't spray anything else because I knew I'd be making this video. And I think this is my scent of the day. It's, it's fruity, freshy, kinda, citrusy. It's like they're all citrusy, but this is nice. So I'll have to wear this, familiarize myself with it and leave, give it time to dry down. But I think this is good. So far, the first one, the Roses, Barbaranza, and this Iris Drage are my um, favorite. Here we have that orange juice and this is the iris. So yeah, similar bottle. Um, and leafy gold plating and the different color juice. The next fragrance is Lauter Oud Eau de Parfum, this one. And I actually got two of these um, just because this is the original and this is a version of the original. Let's, let's open. Standard box. Voila, voila, voila. This is the original Latra Oud. And let's open it. It has a different box to the newer version. That's what I want to show you. So here we are. This is the original and this is the new one. Okay. As you can see, they're different sizes and yes, the original is 75 mils and the new one I bought in the hundred mil. I think they all come in 100 mil anyway. So which one should we start with? The original. So it opens just as my Oud Bouquet opens. This is my Oud Bouquet fragrance. It's the same box as the Lautre Oud. And they both slide up and they have that in there. So yes, Lautre Oud has a nice gold pattern on the side and we have that dust bag. The packaging is always nice. Okay. We appreciate good packaging because we are superficial like that. You know, <laughs> I mean, you're paying for packaging as well. Anyways, Let's open this dust bag and see. Okay, okay. Gold bottle. It's different. It's different from my Oud Bouquet bottle. 75 mil. Let me get the Oud Bouquet bottle so we can compare. Eh? Here we are. This is my Oud Bouquet. I love my Oud Bouquet. This is the original Oud Bouquet, uh, 75 mils. And this is the Latra Oud that I have just purchased, 75 mils as well. The packaging does look old school, antique, vintage, you know. Um, it's from 1935, so let's smell this one because Hopefully it impresses us just as Oud Bouquet did. Moment of truth. Okay, I'm just getting incense and Oud. No sweetness just yet. Let's spray on the skin. These are strong. I, I should not spray too much. Okay, so incense, Oud. Each fragrance has its own charm. Um, 
I still prefer the Oud Bouquet, but this one is it's charming as well. It would be for a different occasion to the Oud Bouquet. Anyway, we'll get into that another day. Latre Oud, the newer version. I'm excited to see how the bottle looks. So, these are gonna look so good lined up on my shelf, okay? <laughs> Oh, gold lid. Oh, I love the color of this juice. That's the color of the juice and nothing on this side. We have magnetic gold cap. Lovely. Can't smell anything. Okay, <laughs> from the bottle. All right, I'm gonna use this side. I'm excited. I want to know the difference between the original and this one. Okay. This one is a little bit lighter. It's still heavy, but a bit lighter than the original. The original is very concentrated. The lightness in this one makes it a little bit different to the original. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fall. And autumn, this would be perfect. And then the original would be great for winter. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, oh, that's brilliant. There's another fall autumn um, recommendation for you. I'm glad I have both of them because now I have the bottle of the other one and the concentration of the other one that can just go on my vanity. I'm glad I have both. I couldn't smell anything out of the bottle. I actually had to spray it. And you can see the oils on the back of my wrist, which is great. Mm, I'm gonna smell good all year round. <laughs> they won't know what's hit them, okay? So these are our fragrances. That's it there. Voila. That's it for my show and tell of the Maison Lancome collection that I have started with. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I did. I like discovering new scents, okay? For new occasions and uh, it keeps life interesting. So stay tuned for all the other unboxings and all the other videos that we'll be making. I have received great suggestions and I'm gonna work through them and Thank you to all of you who did message me and I truly appreciate that. I will look into the brands that you have suggested for me to review. Shout out to my subscriber, Rosie Sense 5 b okay? She has been supportive of my channel right from the beginning. Thank you, girl. So please go and check out her Instagram. She loves all things beauty, especially fragrances. So I'll link that in the description box. And yes, I look forward to giving another subscriber, supportive subscriber, <laughs> a shout out in the next video. So yeah, I look forward to that. I did mention that I was going to be putting up some um, messages or comments from my subscribers on the screen towards the end of the video. And I'm gonna do that in this video as well <laughs> so yes look forward to that thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment i will see you in my next video Bye.